Hello guys, it's a new day, so we are back with a new unboxing. I actually received this album yesterday along with the hashtag cookie jar which I uploaded already or yesterday but you know as much as I wanted to open it so badly I could not film two videos in one day because I just don't have the energy you know so but that's okay because today I can do it and also as you can see um, Today I have Red Velvet's latest comeback, Oompa Oompa, from Re Reva Festival Day 2. I have the guidebook version. I always start off with like the standard regular versions and my plan is to eventually get, you know, the limited versions last because first I'm trying to collect all their albums and that includes like regular versions first and I'll just have the limited because it's just practically like sometimes I think the photo books are the same or something I don't know so okay I let me rant for a little bit so a river festival came out a while ago and I'm barely doing this even though I pre-ordered it or originally pre-ordered it so what happened was Amazon had them for pre-order and I pre-ordered it like August 16th so like way before the release like four days before pre-ordered and everything and then it was the 21st and nothing had shipped out and I was just really confused when I checked my order details and it said that it would arrive on November and I'm like excuse me what you think I'm gonna wait two months for an album by the time it arrives, the Reba Festival finale was going to come out, I bet. So I'm like, oh, no, thank you. So I cancel my order. I'm st I still ordered from Amazon, but not directly from them. I Instead, I used another seller that sells through Amazon. And so it arrived in two days. Like, hello, difference. So yes, be uh, careful of ordering for anything that is actually sold by Amazon because I don't know what's up with them lately but I never had problems still now like yesterday with my cracks a uh, jewel case and then that time when I was trying to pre-order I actually had pre-order Everglow's album as well and I canceled both so now I have to wait something about they don't have it yet and then it's really expensive from other sellers so I have to wait and never close, but at least I have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and open it already. So I think this was from K-pop Market, but I'm not sure. But either way, I think it is because of the freebies. So let's go ahead and look at the freebies first. What happened to the sun? Why is the lighting being weird? These are so such 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 cute cards. This is the back. Wendy. Enjoy. So those were the freebie cards. It comes with a poster, as you can already tell. But I'm not gonna be able to show it in frame. But I'll just add a picture of it somewhere here but this is the poster I'm just gonna like look at it really quick and see if it's the picture of the album yes it is so I'll just put that aside and continue with the album so okay let me get my scissors and start opening this up so here's the album I don't know if it's me or I don't know but the colors look saturated more saturated than I've seen I haven't seen a full unboxing but I've seen like pictures and previous and the purple looks more pastel looking than this and like I don't know look she looks very tan right there 
So I don't know if they run out of like albums and then printed new ones and the colors are different than the first batch. That's kind of like my guess. But okay, let me take off the stuff. Okay. Took out the stuff. Oh, there we go. But it's so cute. I really like the um, color palette that they used. Because these are like my favorite. I love pastel colors, and purple is one of my favorite colors. So I'm really digging this. This album aesthetic. It's just really, really cute. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time looking at the pictures because I'm pretty sure people have seen these already. She's so pretty, like how? And then we have the lyrics here. I'm also really pleased with the styling for this era and their uh, comeback stages. Kind of gives me like a 70s vibe with their styling. And I like it. I really like it. It looks very, it's very, very nice on them. And then they're actually like coordinated. These dresses are also cute. I wonder if they're going to perform on music shows with those. I hope so. But yeah, I also like really like those blonde highlights in Wendy's hair. So overall, this era is just 10 out of 10. I mean, every era is always 10 out of 10, if we're honest. I mean, it's Red Velvet, how can it not be perfect? So, these pictures are really, really gorgeous. And I really like, it looks kind of like they're giving a picnic vibe. <laughs> and then slightly a desert vibe when they're on this sort of, but this is a picnic vibe, and then this is a desert vibe. And Yeti going back to blonde. So we've reached the end of the photo book. Here are the credits. I really just, I'm in love with this whole album. And okay, so we're going to get to our stuff. We have this little additional lyrics book or Actually, no, it's not lyrics. It's kind of like a little s like summary about the songs, about what they are. It's actually really cute if this could actually focus. So this actually really is a guidebook, but for the lyrics. So there's that. So now we have the ads, which I'm not going to show. Oops, they landed on the trash. <laughs> uh, and then we have, I got Joy's postcard. So that is going to be up for a trade for Irene. Mm hmm And I already saw the photo car and if you're new to my channel then welcome and also I happen to have a slight curse. I don't want to say curse but like a really really lucky hand when it comes to pulling Yiddy's photo cards because this is like my seventh photo card. A seven time that I pull a Yeti photo card. So again, this will be up for trade for Irene. But it's really, really pretty though. Because I love her iconic blonde hair. But, obviously, I am trying to collect Irene. How do I f put this up? Uh, so I'm trying to collect Irene. And so yeah, I'm going to be trading that. Okay, this was it. Very pleased with the album. Very pleased with the pictures, the aesthetic, the colors, everything. The song is actually it's actually very very catchy. I liked it the first lesson versus Sims Eleven. I had to take take a step back and listen to it again to kind of like get into it. But eventually, I did like with every Red Bell song. Like really, that's just how it is. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.
Bye-bye.